again, and welcome back to Shortcut Sherry's Tips and Tricks. Have you heard of flash fill? Flash fill is probably one of my favorite things because years ago when I worked in human resources, I would get these files and I would take me hours to get them ready to create a report. And it's because the original file that I got, all of the information was kind of smushed into the same columns. And I would spend all day cutting and pasting. Honestly, this was the beginning of Shortcut Sherry. Control X, Control V, Control X, Control V. So if you haven't seen Flashville, let me show you how that works. In the interest of time, I've already added some columns here. And you can see I have the reseller and store in the first column. And then over to the right, I have another column that has the product SKU that has a few different elements in it. And I want to break those apart so I can create a report. Now, I could copy and paste, copy and paste like I used to, or cut and paste. But let's try a little different way. In the first row below the reseller, let's go ahead and type in the reseller name of Proswear. and then hit enter. In the next empty cell, I'm going to type the next reseller name, which is Tailspin Toys. And you see what just happened? It recognized a pattern. It goes, looks like you're trying to break this up here. Why don't I go ahead and do it for you? Thank you so very much. You just saved me hours. There are over 6,000 rows in this particular range of data. I'm just going to hit enter here, and it's going to flash fill the column, which is awesome. Another quick little shortcut, that column is a little too narrow for the information that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the border between the two columns, and it will resize it to the widest thing in that particular column. All right, now the model is in the product SKU, the M400. So let's try and flash fill that one. All right, I typed in the first one. I typed in the second one. I typed in the third one. Okay, not my friend, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Because Excel doesn't recognize a pattern. There's nothing different between each of those rows. So how do I make that happen? If it doesn't automatically recognize it on the data tab, in the data tools group, you should see a button here that says flash fill. And that will automatically push it for you. So you don't have to go through and copy and paste. Finally, let's talk about the store number. I'm going to go ahead and type in the star number, which is pound 00051. If I don't want to test the waters and I really want it to just go ahead and flash fill for me, you can use the shortcut, which is control E. Control E is the equivalent of going to the data tab and clicking the flash fill button. So there you go. We have flash fill and we have the shortcut for flash fill. Thanks for watching. I'm Shortcut Sherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.